Welcome to the shortwave radio channel and I know a lot of you like to see how we set up and I get a lot of requests um, of people saying I want to see more about your antennas and how you set up so I'm going to show you one of the setups that I have right now that I've been using for the satellite tracking and also um, explain a little more what I want to do and prepare this um, for you know the fall so that this winter all of this will be operational and I won't have too much problems uh, in the uh, the listening uh, so of course you guys know that I have a uh, SDR play and RSPSD which is a network device it is basically a RSPDX revision 2 uh, with a Arduino and what happens with that is that it actually creates a network um, device that can connect to my Wi-Fi or uh, via Ethernet cable. So right now it's connected to Wi-Fi because it's an easy way for me to have the remote in the kitchen and still be able to tune in my office. So right now it's just um, temporarily installed and I'm going to show you. Here it is. This is in my kitchen right now it's up in the highest um, of the um, the uh, places where I put my pots and pans and stuff uh, it's there temporarily of course because I just did a quick job and didn't want it to be on the kitchen counter uh, at the same time so it, it's there I just closed the panel and you know I don't see it but it still works and of course this is the power cable and the black wire is the antenna cable. Now, what antenna am I using on it? I'm using this. This is the one on the right. This is a uh, 30 megahertz to 1,300 megahertz wideband mobile antenna. And it is a magnetic base. And this is a big, sturdy metal shed. So it really sticks to it. And at the same time, it works great because that metal shed it creates the perfect circuit just like a car would do so that it balances out the uh, the antenna uh, it creates what they call a, a ground plane so this is what I use for satellite uh, reception you guys have been in the live show and we did uh, the uh, slow scan TV decode or maybe you've seen some slow scan TV pictures decode and I'll f I've posted tonight my um, international space station repeater reserve reception uh, well this is the antenna that was used receiving the uh, the um, VHF UHF range now it's a little close to the wall one of the things I'd like to do maybe is uh, take my um, take a ladder and push it uh, more towards the middle here now the one on the left if you're wondering what that is that is a small uh, CB mobile antenna it's really just one a cheapo CB mobile antenna magnetic base also um, and this is what actually made me have a contact with the guys up north about 30 to 40 uh, kilometers away which is kind of surprising for that little antenna uh, with my 980 uh, and I brick at 980 SSB so what I want to do is because the SDR device is capable of course it's a wideband device it's capable of shortwave listening uh, long wave, medium wave, short wave. What I plan to do is to set up a HF antenna uh, on in the back that I would be using with it, so that I could switch between the VHF to HF antenna to go, you know, for satellite or even do some scanner radio stuff or listen to, you know, like railroads and so on. And at the same time, I'd be able to switch the antenna port and go to a short wave antenna so that I can actually tune shortwave. Now you might say, well, doesn't this tune shortwave? Yeah, but it's not made for shortwave. So when you tune around shortwave, it isn't as good as a dedicated shortwave antenna. So uh, these are things I want to do. I will uh, try to do that by the winter. Move the uh, SDR in a spot that will be kind of a permanent spot, but with the antennas coming in in the kitchen. So uh, this is going to be like a permanent setup for the backyard and which will give me all the possibilities of what I want to do 
on radio listening on on the shortwave bands and on VHF UHF. So uh, anyways, more on that as I progress and do changes on my SDRs. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.